tough loss tonight. Biggest takeaway from it? Um, you know, I think the, the biggest takeaway is, you know, at the end of things, whether it was the end of the second quarter, at the end of the game, you know, we were still fighting. Yeah. You know, we fought through it. Um, but that's something that needs to be done for the, the entire 40 minutes, not just at the end of quarters. How do you make sure that you keep that consistency throughout the entire game? Uh, making sure we're all on, all on the same page, having each other's backs. You know, obviously coming back from a break like this, it's yeah. going to take a second to regroup and that type of thing. But, you know, with this season, uh, games come so quickly. So we have to uh, be prepared for the next one. Yeah. And you're entering here the second stretch of the season. What are you hoping to gain and to change going into the second half? Um, honestly, you know, we're hoping to to kind of get get ourselves going, you know, get some wins under our belt and, and kind of see what kind of push we can make towards playoffs. You know, it's not going to be easy with this league. You know, there's so many great teams and great players that we play every single night. Uh, but just making sure that, you know, whatever we do, win or lose, that we're leaving it all on, out on the court. Mm -hmm. And of course, you said All-Star break. You're just coming back from that. What was that experience like for you? <laughs> uh, being able to be a part of the All-Star uh, was amazing, you know, especially because it was in Seattle. Yeah. Um, you know, having it be a host city or hosting it uh, in my first All-Star game, you know, I'll never forget it. And I think, you know, the, the city of Seattle did a great job putting on uh, for the entire league. And for those people, I mean, it was in Seattle, you play for Seattle. Give us maybe like top three things that people would be surprised to go to Seattle and like little finds that you love, food, places. Um, you know, top three things that, that people go, when they come to Seattle, they go do, um, you know, they go to Pike Place Market. Um, they might take like a ferry ride on the Sound or something like that and like go up in the Needle. Um, you know, if you're a foodie, there's a lot of great yeah. restaurants uh, in <laughs> Seattle, a lot of um, um, non-chain restaurants. I'm not sure okay. what that's called, but um, basically anywhere you go, you'll find something great. So basically for anyone coming, just look for you and you can give them a tour. Mm, look for me. <laughs> Try to find me. I might be around. And lastly, I don't know if you're aware, but you hit your 1,000 career field goal today. Um, quite the milestone for you. How does that make you feel? Um, you know, honestly, it would make me feel a lot better if we won. Yeah. Um, but it's, a, it's an honor to be able to get to that point in my career and that type of thing. And, you know, I'll always remember it. Uh, but right now, you know, more focus on uh, the team and, and how we can get back on track. You've been Rookie of the Year. You got voted into Austria this year. What's next for you? What's like a personal accomplishment that you're looking forward to ticking off the list next? Uh, you know, next thing for us, for me, is getting us to the playoffs and getting, you know, doing something there. Yeah. You know, this is going to be really tough once we get there uh, to get there. But um, if we can, you know, we want to make our ourselves known there. Thank you so much. Thanks.